so for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this candle holder and I know it looks complicated but it really isn't. So I use most of my candle jars for holding things like pencils and makeup brushes, it obviously means that I don't really get to use the lid. So today I thought I'd show you a use that you can get out of the lid so that you don't have to chuck it. First thing you want to do is take off the plastic ring that the glass will have around it. Now the easiest way to get the sticker off at the top other than trying to peel it for hours is just to get some hot water in a little bowl, leave it in there for about 10-15 minutes and then once you've done that when you take it out it should be really easy to just scrape it off with a knife and then with whatever's left you want to take something like surgical spirits or you can use an alcohol like vodka, put it on a cotton bud and just wipe away any of the glue that's left on the glass. Once you've cleaned the lid we're going to move on to clay and you can use whatever kind of clay you want, it doesn't matter what colour it is or what kind of texture. I'm going to be using paper clay because I don't want this to weigh too much but if you've got something like terracotta clay or just an ordinary white clay, use whatever you have to hand, it really doesn't matter. First thing I'm going to do is spray a little bit of water into this and mix it into the clay just to make it a little bit more pliable and not too dry. Taking a small blob you're going to roll it in between your fingers till it's like a small ball and then roll it between your fingers again until it's a teardrop shape. Now you want to take a second blob of clay, flatten it out between your fingers and this has to be ever so slightly smaller than the blob that we've rolled into a teardrop shape previously. Flatten it between your fingers and then taking it you're going to roll it round the teardrop to create the first petal. And that's pretty much how you make a clay rose, it really is that simple. Now you're just going to repeat the whole process again and again, each time get a little blob which is ever so slightly larger so that that way the petals get larger and larger and try and squeeze the rose as you do it so that it kind of opens up a little bit more otherwise it'll be a bit too closed but if you want a rose which is quite closed then it's perfect. Once you've got it to the size you want, cut it down, glue it into place and start on the next rose. Once you've glued down all the roses you just want to take a few minutes to just make sure that the petals are bent over each other just so that they don't look like they were individually stuck and almost like they grew right there. Also sometimes you can squash the roses a little bit when you're trying to put them into place so just take something like a pen or a sculpting tool and just move the petals back into shape. Make sure that you've glued down everything really solidly so don't be afraid to go a little bit extreme with the super glue. And once you've done this we're going to spray paint it and I'm going to be using a black spray paint and you're probably going to want to do about three to four coats because sometimes you can miss areas so lay out some newspaper over wherever you're going to be doing this just to protect it and now you just want to spray it like crazy. Once I've spray painted it all and waited for it to dry I'm going to be taking a gold ink but you could also use acrylic if that's what you have to hand and a floppy makeup brush which obviously I'm not using for makeup and I'm just going to really loosely brush it all over the rose. And that's it, you're done.